story tonight. Hundreds of community members are honoring Baton Rouge teens whose lives were taken too soon. NBC Local 33's Anam Siddiqui attended Bruley High's candlelight visual for Maggie Dunn and Caroline Gill. She joins us now with the story. Anam. Hey Renee, Maggie and Caroline were killed in a crash involving a police officer. The family's attorney says they need more answers. During tonight's ceremony, everyone was reminded how life can be so precious. Hundreds remember Maggie Dunn and Caroline Gill on the Bruley football field, where the two best friends created the fondest memories. They're going to be missed so much and this team will just never be the same without them. Their coaches say the pair was one of a kind. Caroline for sure is her infectious smile. She had the biggest smile and on Friday night she was always so loud. If I could tell Maggie one more thing, it would be that I love you. I'm going to always be there for your uh, family. I'm really close with your sister. You're like another little sister to me. On New Year's Eve day, the teens were killed in a crash involving a police officer. Addis police officer David Cothron was on a pursuit trying to stop Tyquo Zanders, who reportedly stole a car in East Baton Rouge Parish. The pursuit led to a crash on LA-1 in Bruley, where the girls were hit and died. Caroline's brother Liam was in the back seat of the car. He's fighting to stay alive. Officer Cothron and Sanders have been arrested. Completely and absolutely innocent lives. We're lost. Jared Ambo represents Caroline's family. He says the family wants accountability. Did they follow their procedure? Did they follow the protocols they have in place in order to make the right call about whether or not to pursue someone and whether or not to pursue someone at high speed? The team cherishes one of their last memories, celebrating Christmas. All of us together in that last moment, I'm going to like take that with me forever. Family members say they are in dire need of blood donations for Liam, Caroline's brother. Anyone interested can check with Bruley High or Our Lady of the Lake. For more information, Anam Siddiqui, NBC Local 33 News. All right, Anam, such a tragic story, but thank you for that report in studio tonight.